So we're here at ITSIC and we're demonstrating the F-35 uh, cockpit training device. So Lockheed Martin's currently delivering the F-35 to the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, Marine Corps and international customers. And along with the airplane, we're delivering a variety of aircrew and maintenance training devices. So these are devices that are used to train the pilots and the maintainers on the F-35. So these devices are currently being delivered around the U.S. and we're preparing and delivering internationally for the users who are going to be receiving the F-35 airplanes here in the near future. So the F-35 is a fifth generation fighter and it is a much more capable fighter than the existing um, fourth generation airplanes like an F-15 or Eurofighter or an F-16. So it, it will drive a re think or relook at the training requirements across the board. You will need much longer training ranges, more sophisticated training space, and that will drive us towards uh, concepts like live virtual constructive where you have live assets like airplanes flying in conjunction with simulators in constructive or wargaming type of environments. So we'll be putting all of those pieces together uh, in order to enable the customers to prepare for and fly the F-35. So there are uh, bases in the U.S. that already have the training devices. Uh, they're at Eglin Air Force Base, they're at Luke Air Force Base, and other uh, um, Air Force, Marine Corps, and Navy bases within the U.S. The next step in the, in the process for the training devices is to deliver them internationally into Israel, into Japan, and the other international countries who are acquiring the F-35 and will receive deliveries over the next few years. Those training devices will be used locally at their training bases to train their pilots uh, and move, uh, move some new students into the airplane as the F-35 is established internationally.